Windows has a few handy features including the Xbox game bar that can make gaming and capturing gameplay footage a breeze, but it's not always the right thing to do. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Android Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can disable the Xbox game bar on Windows 11. Now disabling the Xbox game bar is actually a surprisingly easy task. All you have to do is press Windows key plus I to open up settings and in the settings you're going to go to the gaming section. Now you will see three options here. You'll see game bar, captures and game mode. What we're going to do is click on game bar. And uh, then right here under the allow your controller to open game bar option, just go ahead and disable it. Now, uh, this means you can still open up game bar if you press Windows key plus G on your system. As you can see, I can still access it. So it's not completely gone. It just doing this only makes sure that your controller doesn't trigger the game bar. So uh, I'm enabling it because I need it. I like using the game bar, but uh, you can disable this option to make sure that the game bar doesn't open up with your controller. Now, if you want to completely get rid of the game bar, uh, we're going to go to the app section for this. Then we're going to click on installed apps and we will wait for this list to populate. Once it's done, we're going to all the way to the bottom or uh, depending on your system, you may see the Xbox game bar in uh, between the Xbox apps section. If you don't see it there, uh, head over to system components and you will see game bar there. Now uh, go all the way to the right. Now you can't quite uninstall the game bar, but you can do a few things to kind of disable it. So once you're on the right, click the three dots and then click on advanced options. Uh, in here, uh, what we're going to do is uh, set the background component permissions to never. So it's definitely usually on power optimized, but we're going to put it on never. And then what we're going to do is come all the way down and then click on terminate. What this does is that it gives us, uh, it closes the app completely, which is running on your system. So it closes all processes related to the Xbox game bar. And uh, since we've not given it permission to run in the background, it cannot start up again. And since you can't launch it from your controller, thanks to our previous setting, you are pretty much done with the game bar. It's just eating a few megabytes of space on your hard drive, but it doesn't actively run in the background. And that's how you can disable the Xbox game bar on Windows 11. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.